Permanent Works designs for Bridgewater College, comprising one external cofferdam and one internal. With the external cofferdam complete and backfilled to 0.2 metres, work can commence on the internal cofferdam. The internal cofferdam comprises of two frames, MGF's 200 series manhole brace and MGF's 254 UC brace. MGF 254 UC Brace is simple to assemble, highly versatile, modular hydraulic bracing systems. They are designed to brace sheet pile cofferdams. The braces are normally assembled outside of the excavation and lifted into the excavation for assembly into a frame. 254 UC legs are normally assembled on timber skids. Using two leg chains, the components are slotted together so the pinholes and the connecting lugs line up. The components can now be connected using a pin and R clip and the end plates should be bolted together. The double acting hydraulic ram assemblies can now be pumped in to allow for ease of installation. The hoses should be connected to the relevant valves in the 254 UC hydraulic ram before the lock-off valve is opened. The lever arm and the bucket pump can now be used to extend the 254 UC ram. Before removal of the hoses, the lock-off valve must always be closed. MGF manhole braces are simple to assemble four-sided hydraulic bracing systems designed to be used in conjunction with steel trench sheets or sheet piles to brace small cofferdams. Assembly commences by laying the manhole brace legs on timber skids. Use a bucket pump to extend the legs to roughly the correct length. The manhole brace legs can now be assembled into a four-sided frame by slotting the corners together and pinning in place using the supplied pins and arc clips. Once assembled, the bucket pump can be used to pump out the legs to the exact dimensions prior to installation making suitable allowances for ease of installation. The frame can now be lifted using an MGF four leg chain. Ensure that the external cofferdam is fully installed and inspected. Work can commence by excavating five meters by five meters, ensuring no more than one meter depth of unsupported ground is exposed within the excavation. The 254 UC frame can now start to be assembled within the trench. Lower the first leg into the excavation. Lower the second leg, carefully align the corner lugs and connect using a pin and R clip. Continue to do this for each leg until the frame assembly is complete. Ensure that there is sufficient tolerance to swing the last corner into position. It is possible to remove and reattach the corner bracket to allow for ease of installation. Reattach the hanging chains after the 254 UC RAM has been adequately pumped out to aid in installing the pin and R clip. Once the 254 UC frame has been assembled, manual brace frame can be lowered into the excavation using an MGF four leg chain. Commence by installing eight corner sheets using the frame as a guide. Sheets are pitched using an MGF quick release shackle and are pushed gently into the trench using the excavator boom. Pitch the sheets and drive the toe to minus 3.2 meters so the sheets cannot slip or slide. 
pump out the manhole brace at minus 0.5 meters and lock off the hydraulics. Once pressurized, connect restraining chains between the sheets and the manhole brace frame. Depending on site conditions, it may be necessary to provide safe access to install restraining chains and a driving cap by means of a stepladder or platform access. Use an MGF driving cap to protect the sheet's ends from damage. Using the frame as a guide, commence pitching and driving the remaining sheets as far as is practical without buckling the sheets. Push and dig the sheets down to minus 4.7 metres. A digging window must be provided for the excavator and a safe secure means of access must be provided prior to entry. Any localised gaps between the pans of the sheets and the frames should be wedged using hardwood timber. Lower the 254 UC brace as the excavation progresses, making sure to drive the sheets ahead of the dig. Maintain a minimum 1.1 metre toe. Pump out the tank brace at minus 2.85 metres and lock off the hydraulics. Attach restraining chains between the 254 UC brace and the manhole brace frame above. Once the 254 UC is pressurised against the sheets, then excavation can progress driving the sheets ahead of the dig until the sheet toe hits concrete at final formation level. Continue until the concrete foundation is fully exposed 